It's a great looking car. You know, it, it reminds me of the era of, of IndyCar racing I fell in love with when I was a kid. And, you know, I was watching Dixon pull out of pit lane and just, you know, looking at how there's absolutely nothing on the back of the car anymore. And it's just, it's so weird having, you know, looked at that for what the last five, six years, whatever it was. And, uh, and now seeing no pods and open tires again, it's, uh, it gets you excited. I mean, it's, it's, like I said, I think it looks great. Um, so far it drives great. So it's, uh, it's checking all the boxes for a driver i think it's more the technical side and how it's going to drive but i think you know uh for the fans i think it looks cool you know when, when the last era kits came out i was like i don't really like the way these cars look but uh, i think everybody's super excited about how these cars uh look and and uh you know the speeds and you know uh, just in general how they're going to race i think is, is going to be really cool there's a safety effect as well the car seems very planted and um you know certainly feels like it's going to be less affected by by crosswinds and things like that you know i think a big part of that comes from not having the air intake on top anymore and having the engine cover much lower there's a, a much much smaller side profile of the car so uh, i think in, in those conditions it'll definitely be an improvement from, from a safety point of view as well the car does seem to close up on uh, on the car it's following much faster than the old car so there were times here there were times at pocono times at indy where you felt like you just needed that last little bit of speed and you were having to pop out very late to make moves. I don't think that's going to be an issue with this car. It, uh, it seems to punch a big enough hole and, and, and catch up to the car in front pretty well. I think um, bringing everybody back onto the same the same page is going to help close the gap a little bit to, uh, to some of the other guys that enjoyed a very fruitful 2017 season. Um, you know, Honda's done an incredible job on the Speedway kit in the past, and obviously we're, we're making the horsepower or else we wouldn't be able to compete and, and win any 500s like we have been. But uh, there's definitely tracks that have been a huge disadvantage to us from an aero kit perspective over the last three seasons. And now, you know, going into, let's call it spade a spade, going into short ovals, we don't have to, you know, hang our heads and be like, all right, if we can make a top 10, that's going to be a good day. We can conceivably go into every weekend now fighting for a win. What the Verizon IndyCast Series has is is the best racing right now there's nothing else that comes close to it um you know cup is is very competitive but it's you know it's obviously on uh, ovals you know we have um the challenge and of different disciplines you know uh across you know short tracks super speedways road courses street courses um you know and, and as we see these championships fight out you know just uh, the amount of different winners that we have is is really unseen so um did they need to change it no, but, you know, if they can make it better, um, you know, I think with, with a lot of the ideas, especially from, you know, the aero kits that we just had and then taking a step back to maybe the DW12, I think the DW12 racing was was, was very good. Um, and I think this is back in that direction to, to maybe even a, a bit better uh, than what the DW12 was to utilize the underwing a lot more to, be, you know, make it a lot easier to follow closely.